If you're running Facebook ads for your Shopify store and you don't have your pixel set up correctly, then you're gonna be losing money. What the pixel does is it tracks every movement on your Shopify store, from your ad to cart, to the page views, to the checkouts, right through to the conversions. And then it sends that data straight back into Facebook so that Facebook can optimize its ads and improve the algorithm to get you the best results possible. Now, if you haven't set up your pixel correctly, I wanna take you through exactly how to set it up right now in your Shopify store using the most simple method there is so that you can get up and running as quick as possible and get the best results from your Facebook ads. Now, if you are interested in doing Facebook ads properly for your Shopify store, I did create a video on exactly how I'm running Facebook ads on my Shopify store using AI and we're getting amazing results. Sometimes we're even getting a rollers of up to 38 on our ads. So let's jump into a test Shopify store now. I'm gonna take you through exactly how to set up this pixel. As we know, Shopify relies heavily on apps and things called sales channels. Now, Facebook is basically a sales channel within Shopify. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new app. We're gonna click over to apps, we're gonna click app, and we're gonna click all recommended apps. This is gonna open up the Shopify app store. Then we're gonna click find apps in the Shopify app store. Now we want to do it this way rather than going directly into the Shopify app store because if we do it here, it connects to everything. We don't need to re-log in. In here, we're just gonna type in Facebook, click that, and we're gonna install this one here, Facebook and Instagram. Now this is the official one that has been set up by Meta, so we're gonna use that one. There are other apps that do install pixels, however, they're a little bit more complicated and advanced. If you're just starting out, the app I'm gonna show you is the simplest way to get started. You don't need to go down the rabbit hole of more advanced apps. This app does the job. It sets up the pixel, it connects your catalog, and allows you to get up and running on ads straight away. Now we're just gonna click install, and it's gonna ask us to add a sales channel. And we're gonna be presented with this screen here. So let's just click get started. I'm gonna connect our Facebook account. Now this Facebook account should be the one that is connected to your business account. So we'll go back here and we're gonna choose our Facebook page. Now I've actually got two here because they're tests, but I'm gonna choose this one here, Echo Heart, and we'll click connect. This is where it talks about the type of data that we're going to send through to Facebook. Now, this is completely up to you. Basically, we can send the least amount of data or the most amount of data. Now, obviously, the most amount of data that you send to Facebook is gonna give you the best results because it has more data to work with. You're feeding it enough information so it can get you best results. And the least amount of data obviously does the opposite. Now, this all comes down to your privacy of your local area and what privacy laws are in place. So you might see on websites now where they have the accept the cookies. This is exactly why that is, because your customers need to accept that you're gonna be sending data to other third-party places. So depending on which one you choose here, you're going to need to make sure that your privacy policy matches what you're choosing here to send through to Facebook. So if we have a look at the type of data that it sends, on conservative, it's just sending product and page views, add to cart, searches, a few other bits of information, initiated checkout and purchase. This is sort of all you need really to get started. However, if you wanna extend your audience and capture more people, this one here also now adds customer name and email address. And if you look at maximum, it adds in customer name, email, phone number, and address, okay? So it does add more information. It allows the algorithm to find more people like the people that buy from you. Now, I do have my privacy policy updated, so let's just click save. Okay, great. And so now what we're going to do is create a pixel. I've got a couple of pixels here to, as they're all tests, but what we wanna do is click create meta pixel. So we're gonna click create new and it's calling it this. It's one of my business names. I'm gonna click confirm. We're gonna to agree to the terms and conditions and we're gonna submit for review. So what's happening now is it's putting a piece of code on your website that tracks everything that happens when someone visits your store, whether they view a page, whether they click add to cart, whether they get to the checkout, whether they make a purchase. And then what that's doing is that sending that back to Facebook and sending them that information. It even sends through the value. So if someone buys something from you for $100, it sends that value back through to Facebook for $100. And that means you can start to see what your return on ad spend is. So if you're spending $10 and you've got a sale for $100, then you've got a 10 to one return on ad spend. And this is why having the pixel set up is super important. So once that has synced with Facebook, it's gonna tell us that we're ready to start selling. So we're gonna click done. Now this is the next part that we wanna make sure that works. And it's basically saying that we can send our products now through to Facebook and Instagram so that we can create carousels and we can create product ads. We can tag products on our photos. So what we want to do is head over to our products and open one of these products here. 
And what you're gonna see over on the right hand side is what we call sales channels. Now, if you remember when we installed this app, it was called a sales channel because this is a channel that we can sell our products through. So this is where we go in and we say, do we wanna sell it on Facebook or do we not wanna sell it on Facebook or Instagram or any of Meta's properties? So in order to do that, we click in here and we click manage sales channels and we can actually tick on and off the ones that we wanna sell. Now mine was already on, uh, yours may already be on depending whether you've had this set up, it may be that I had it set up before, but you wanna make sure that it's all checked on. Now my one is. And what that's telling Facebook is that we're willing to send this product and all its details, its images, its price, its everything straight through to Facebook so we can tag it and advertise it in the ads. Now that that's installed, we wanna check that it actually works. So let's go into the Facebook Business Manager now, have a look at what it's installed for us and then we'll have a look to see whether or not it's working. So we're gonna head over to the Facebook Business Manager. Now once we're in the Facebook Business Manager, we're gonna click Data Sources and we're gonna click Pixels. Now we can see we've got two set up here. This was one that I was testing before. This is the one that we've got here. Now to check that it is the right one, we're gonna have a look at this number here and we're gonna see that it works. So we're gonna pop back to Facebook and have a look. And we're going to go back to sales channels. We're gonna choose Facebook and Instagram. We're gonna to go to settings. And we're just gonna double check the pixel. So this pixel ends in 5295, so let's have a quick look, that's the right one. And we can see this one ends in 5295, so that's awesome. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the events manager, and this is gonna tell us whether or not the events are working correctly. So we can see that our pixel hasn't tracked any recent activity. So we're gonna change this to today. And we're now gonna to go to my store and we're gonna force some events on it. As you can see, this is not a real store, so don't buy from it. <laughs> All right, let's go through and we will click this one here and just go through and do a few things. You can see we use this to test and do a lot of training on. Click add to cart and we'll go view my cart. We'll go to checkout. And now we're gonna pop back to the events manager and see if we can see anything. And now we can see that it's it's showing a new screen for us. So the pixel data hasn't come through yet. This can take a little bit of time. So maybe we'll do another test and see whether or not it works running Facebook's test method. So we do that by clicking test events. Now it says test browser events. And then we're gonna click around a little bit and see whether or not the events come back. Add to cart. And then we'll pop back over to events manager and we can see these events are now working. So this is working really, really well. You can see we've got add to cart, page view, view content. Let's see if it does, it gets us to the checkout. Let's get to the checkout. And let's go back to the events manager, initiate checkout, awesome. So that's pretty much it guys. Really super simple way to set up Facebook ads. We just install the Facebook sales channel, we make sure we connect it to our business page and we pop into Facebook to make sure that it's actually working on our store. Guys, if you found this useful, I'd love to hear down below what you found useful. If you want to learn how to set up Facebook ads properly, check out this video here on how to set up Facebook ads, the most efficient way to get you the best results and the quickest way to set them up. Uh, it's a great video, it's what we use on our stores and it has some killer information in there. And of course, if you love this video and you wanna hear more from me, make sure you subscribe because I drop videos just like this every single week.